yung box niya. Ayan. So, yan yung itsura ng printer. Alright. Okay. So, eto na yung mismong um, HP unit. The HP Smart Tank 500. Okay. So, first, paano kayo maglalagay ng paper for this printer? Very easy. You just pull this out. And then, place the paper. Ayan. Presto. You already have the paper. So, what will be used naman pag pumasok dyan yung paper saan lalabas? So, ayan. Pull this out and then, ayan din. After that, itong part na to, this is where you place your documents for scanning and for photocopying. Ito naman yung mga options niya. Ayan. First stop. And then, this one naman, resume button. If, say, for example, nag-stop siya dahil nawalan ka ng paper, so, you just press this to resume printing, photocopying, or any, anything that you are doing uh, in connection to the printer. Ito naman, if, say, for example, you would like to use the photocopying function, tapos colored yung gusto mong maging outcome, you'll press this one. If you want it to be black and white, you'll just press this one. So, this is the on and off button. So, ayan. Try natin. Plinag ko siya. On and off button. So, you would see this is the sign na parang it's loading. Ano? Okay. So, we will try to use the photocopying function first. Try natin for the colored and for the black and white. Try to see how it differs. Okay? So, ito. Ito yung, uh, try natin to. This cover. Ayan. This is the cover of my daughter's uh, coloring book. Try natin siyang i-photocopy. Ayan. You just place it here. Dito yung pinakataas niya. So, upright portion. Diyan. Close natin. Try natin to use the function na uh, colored. So, meaning pag pinotocopy mo siya, colored. So, yan makikita nyo dyan. Ilan yung photocopy. So, try natin siyang orasan. Gana siya katagal. Bago mo photocopy. Okay. Preparing pa rin siya. Let's see the outcome. So, parang it's taking at least mga 10 seconds na, no? Before siya ma-cop. Pero, ayan naman. May prompt naman siya. Ayan na. Na, isa lang yung cop niya. So, dito siya lalabas. Ayan, dito natin siya makikita. Okay. Waiting tayo, no? Mm -hmm. Ayan. Compare natin to dun sa original niya. By the way, later tuturo ko sa inyo how to use the ink, ano? Paano maglagay. So, since nalagay na nga namin yung ink talaga, ito yung mga empty bottles ng ink. I'll just show you the empty bottles. Plus, later I'll show you how to put this one. Mas malaki yung black ink if you will observe. Ayan. Bali yan. Free na yan. Once you buy this unit, you'll get this uh, set of print, uh, set of ink. Tapos, according naman sa nakausap namin, each ink cost around, ano lang naman, 270 something. Pero, I haven't tried buying, no? Kasi kakabili lang nito. So, definitely puno pa yung ink niya. Okay? So, baba lang natin. Check natin yung... Okay. Ito yung pinagkopyahan. Okay. So, makikita niyo ang ganda ng pagkakakopy niya. O, oh, ba Ang ganda ng copy. So, hindi siya nalalayo dito sa original na ginamit natin. Mapapansin lang natin na the color of the water, ayan, medyo different na sila in that sense. But still, it doesn't uh, affect its uh, quality pa rin naman. Maganda pa rin. 
Okay? Try naman natin for the black and white. Print natin to ulit. Same materials. Then, click mo lang tong button na to. This, this is for black and white. Okay? So, ayan. Habang nag-iipirintay tayo nung print, dito nilalagay yung mga ink. Mamaya, bubuksan natin itong mismong unit para makita ninyo paano siya nilalagyan ng ink. So, eto yung black naman niya. So, malino pa rin. Okay, so bago tayo mag-proceed sa ibang function ni HP Smart Tank 500, buksan natin itong printer. So, paano nga ba maglagay ng ink? Ayan. Very easy lang. Very simple. Ganun lang. As simple as that one. Tapos, ayan. Ang maganda dito, nakalock na siya. Because I have used different printers in the past. And parang ano lang yung gamit niya. Rubber. But in this one, hard siya. Tapos you have to press this. Ayan. Press. Okay. Press mo lang siyang ganun. And, eto yung block. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, blue, pink, yellow, all together sila in this tank or in the side of the printer. While the black tank naman, mas malaki siya and nakaseparate siya. Okay? So, kung mapapansin ninyo, ayan. Eto yung lalagyanan ng, ng blue, pink, and yellow. Tapos, eto yung sa black. Okay? Mas malaki yung lalagyanan na. Ayan. So, ganyan siya close. So, maganda sa kanya, very intact siya tingnan. Malini siya tingnan. Okay? So, ngayon, try natin na mag-print ng picture. Okay. Pakita ko sa inyo yung picture na ipiprint natin. Ito. Tapos, gagamit tayo ng photo paper. Let's see yung quality ng HP Smart Tank 500 with the quality of the picture. So, this is the picture, ha? Okay. Let's put, let's put the photo paper here. Lagay natin siya dyan. Okay. So, sabi dito, full page photo daw ba? So, since ito try lang naman natin, wag ng full page. Gawin na lang natin siya na... Um, ayan, ganyan na lang. Okay, maliit lang. Let's see kung ano yung quality ni HP Smart Tank 500 when printing pictures. Okay. One tick nang hindi siya ma-print kasi hindi ko na iba yung setup. Ayan. So, I'm using Epson before. So, naka-Epson pa pala siya. Change natin to HP Smart, Smart Tank. Ayan. Printing. Ayan na. Tingnan natin yung quality. Photo paper mismo yung ginamit ko. Not just ordinary bond paper. Okay. Ayan na. So, kitang-kita natin. Ang ganda ng quality niya. So, meaning HP Smart Tank 500 can also be used in printing pictures. So, the details talaga, no? Very detailed yung pagkakakuha niya. Ang ganda. Alright. So, next naman, in scanning uh, procedure naman, how do we scan? So, gamitin pa rin natin the same material, si Jonah. Okay, so to be honest, first time ko tong gagamitin. Okay, so nandiyan naman, you will choose scan as PDF, scan as JPEG, email as PDF, or email as JPEG. So, gawin natin na save as JPEG. Okay. Tapos, click natin yung scan. Mm -hmm. So, ayan, makikita ninyo na may light na nangyayari doon, which is a sign na nag scan siya. Okay? There, we can observe what's happening there. Balik tayo dito. Ayan, na-scan na niya si Jonah. So, kanina pinakita ko sa inyo yung view for, from the printer. Try natin ngayon na... Uh, tingnan natin yung view dito sa computer. Ano yung nangyayari when you're scanning? Okay, so kanina alam na natin na once na may light na nangyayari doon, it's already doing its job of scanning the document or whatever you are trying to scan for your file. So this time, we will see ano nga ba yung nangyayari 
in our computer. So, as simple as that, nag na si Jonah and the uh, whale. So, we already have our file here. And it is really, uh, how do you call this? Very clear. Malino na malino. The same on how uh, the raw material used. Ano, no? Kung paano siya. Ako, ano itsura niya, no? Okay, how it looks like. Ayan. Okay. So, yon. If you want to know how to install HP Smart Tank 500, please watch that on my next vlog. And we are going to teach you ano nga ba, paano nga ba install to. But for now, I hope that uh, we have provided uh, a very clear view on how to use these uh, materials and its quality. And I hope that this helped you a lot in deciding whether to buy this particular brand or not. So if this vlog helps you a lot, please click subscribe, like this video, comment down below whatever you wanted to ask or if you have any comments, suggestions, just type it down. And please, please, please uh, don't forget to subscribe talaga, no? We will really be appreciating that simple click. Thank you very much and God bless everyone.